the Duke of Cornwall sees his mother crowned. In Britain, this was the day television came of age. For the first time, the television audience outnumbered the radio audience. 20 million watched it, only 12 million heard it. The crowning of the Queen became, through television, a warm slice of national nostalgia, fondly recalled a quarter of a century later in television's most famous soap opera. 2nd of June, 1953. That was a day to remember. Well, were you there? I mean, did you, did you go down special? It wasn't necessary, dear, no. Jack and I had the first television in this area. Oh. And, of course, it was much better at home because the weather was dreadful, simply dreadful. It must have been very colourful all the same. It was, dear, it was. Well, you only had black and white in them days. Some of us have the ability to colour events with our imagination, Mrs. Huckabee. Never before have so many seen the crowning of the sovereign, or so many shared in her dedication in this Abbey Church. The great success of the coronation was to force a change in the BBC's attitude to television.